several years of planning and one global pandemic later. But I think it's awfully cool. The Ording yeah, Veterans cool. Village is welcoming its first residents. Oh, this is my, my new tiny home. Uh, <clears throat> they're not as tiny as people would imagine. Army veteran Gary Burnham is more than happy to welcome guests. This house is all him. There's been a lot of people working for me on my side. Soon the village will host 35 once homeless veterans from Pierce County. Quixotic Communities is the nonprofit behind the build. They can go home and lock their door and be do their own thing, but they also have this community, this built-in support, and it's a place where they belong. A project that broke ground in October of 2019. Using a Navy term, this is a forever, so they can come here forever and get their sea legs back. And for some, that may take a short amount of time, you know, a couple of years. Uh, for some, it may take longer. Soon, it's the residents that will guide the direction of the community. They'll elect a board, host group events, a community, a sense of community that so many have lacked for so many years. I have experienced homelessness and uh, walking around on the street in the cold rain, uh, trying to stop and rest at stores or somewhere and get ran from, uh, from in front of it. You know, there, there's a form of trauma that comes with being homeless. The first five residents moved in last week. Five more will move in next week. A village they know will succeed and one they hope will be the first of many.